Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to episode 17 of Digital Blackface. We're talking some Uzaki insanity, the little midget that has taken over an entire website, or at least the anime part of that website. Twitter, be and- wildin'. <laughs> We're right here with with my favorite co-host, or one of two at least, <laughs> Lamhammer herself. Howdy. That isn't an, an offense to Lamhammer. She definitely deserves the number one spot in everything. Yep. But, okay, let's uh, bring in our uh, t- uh, two other co-hosts for today as Amy is a little bit busy. So she can't be with us. She's all tied uh, up. Yeah, she has a lot on her plate. Uh, we got my man Mariner and my man Carl, single player Carl. What is up, the two of you? Howdy, fellas. No, I'm done talking to people. <laughs> Too late. You're already here. Shut up. Podcast has started, brother. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be on. Hello, everyone. Good evening. We, we discussed this, Mariner. You, yeah, how, you how, never actually said. <laughs> I said anytime. Anytime. And you said you were going to be on, so I assumed you were already on the same page. Anyway. So, guys, we're talking about Uzaki. Uzaki-chan, Uzaki-hana. Um... There's a lot going on with this character specifically, and it's honestly surprised me with exactly how much people hate her, and for no reason, right? You call them people? I feel like they're threatened by how cute she is, and also how big her tatas are. I mean, her tatas are rather massive, but, um... They've got their own gravity field, man. I'm pretty sure, like, uh... uh, They're like a, 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 a... She's a J-cup or something? Is that canon? Like, I didn't read the wiki, but someone said uh, she's a Jacob. Nah. Do your research before getting on. I haven't no, read the manga he was supposed to have read for. Look, I've done some research, but I haven't read the manga. Or... Well, that like... being said, yeah, Carl, okay, do you know look. how big her titties are? Yeah, I just checked. Uh, she, uh, it looks like an a bus H-cup size of 96 centimeters a with Jacobs with Jacobs in Japanese sizing. What is that in yeah. freedom units? Uh, so you know the size that most people like to compare to beach, beach ball titties? Okay, what size is large that? Large enough. So uh, the size of a large baby's head. That's, mm. that's, that's not that big. Mm. Not but, for no, you, but, perhaps. But, but like, but like you don't have to carry him around, my man. <laughs> okay, maybe like, that, like that's not On her chest, jutting outwards, that's pretty big. Okay, mm-hmm. that's fair. That's fair. She's 150 centimeters. She's 150 centimeters tall, and her bust size is literally two thirds of her whole height. Yeah, it's about the size of a bowling ball. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. That is that is amazing. In fact, <laughs> mm-hmm. nature works in mysterious ways. Well, I'm gonna be the hard. <laughs> okay, so um, actually, there's actually with all the drama going around, Dozaki Chan, like, there's too much to even say about it. But I, one of one of my mutuals on Twitter, Christina Tasty, put together a small video compilation of exactly how annoyed people are. And in fact, Lamb, could you try and pull that up so like they can exactly they can see oh, sure. what's going on there? Because like I have to applaud her because it's like it's amazing. She did her work on that. It is incredible. Okay. And. Let's... Like, people are just so mad, and it is amazing. Like, for no reason, this character is so mad. mad. Oh, mad. Oh, mad. Oh, mad. Oh, mad. Oh, mad. Well, maybe you should have been here. Yes, Ooh. but this is a whole thing. But you know I haven't been here. Yeah. You still haven't been here, though. And that's the problem. The overarching problem. I haven't quite figured out how to detach my soul and its divinity from my body yet. Astral projecting tournaments are going well, though. Mm. You need to upload but... your consciousness into the Borg. Can I Look, all I'm saying is that... Instead? I forget a lot of things, so you can't really blame me for forgetting something that I'm not immediately reminded of. This is, this is okay. Oh, that's, that's right. You have the, you have the memory of a goldfish. Okay, look. 
pretty much that. Look, also a funny <laughs> thing, a funny thing, look, a funny thing when it comes to like the anime and the manga. I did do some research on Uzaki. Like in the in the manga, <clears throat> in the anime, they literally toned down the relative size of her breasticles <laughs> compared to the manga. Yep. Like it, you look at a picture comparing the manga is clearly bigger and just more present. And I'm just saying they could Some have girls chosen be to, like that though. They could have chosen to get mad at that back then, but they didn't. Instead, they chose this, and it's weird. And because they don't right read. Look right here. The, the the chat has my back. Poe, it's okay. ADHD do that to a dude, and it. Does. I have ADHD. Fuck off. I, also I mean, have mine ADHD is worse. And mine I'm is on probably top worse. Of all the stuff for the most part, I have to get on top of you to make sure that you're on top of giving me all the media for the day. So. You know what? That is true. That is true. That used but to be all I'm gonna say. Oh, that's cursed. Manager. That's cursed. That's cursed. <laughs> get it off my screen. <laughs> oh, like, what is weird? What is weird that, that people are getting mad at Uzaki when worse examples of this exist and have existed in anime for years, like but, literally. But that wouldn't give them clown. Was they she an clown. easy target? Well, like it's it all started when Unseen Japan, like uh, I think last year. Um, first, they used the Uzaki character for a, a blood drive, like uh, poster and stuff like that. I think I, I sent mm. that image came across the screen at least once or twice. But they use her image for like a mascot for a blood drive, and Unseen Japan got all in his pants, like like oh wow, this is so offensive towards Japanese women putting this in that sort of place. This is not the time or place or whatever. And then nope. when he went on, I think he went on a TV show in Japan. Yes. And they literally, both the male and female host literally laughed at him for it. Remember, this is a straight white male whose entire claim to fame was, I live in Japan, therefore I know more than you, being mocked by native Nihonjin. Now, I as a Kakujin, I, I, that, that means black people in Japanese. I as a Kakujin, I would, I love, I love when people become black, right? It's, it's actually, it's, 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 it's very fun. It's very fun to see. And I say it like that because that's exactly what happened. It, it's not often, but sometimes it just raises right out of you. And that's mm -hmm. what happened there. He didn't think that they would just call him on it. They thought it would be like, oh, yes, it's very unfortunate that this is how our culture is seen by the outside world. No, they said, no, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Sit here and take this dick for 15 minutes. <laughs> and they do this not only on live, but also online. Like, I've seen the shit that they say about people who quite literally do nothing but this. They have a word for y'all. Technically, it's a Chinese word, but they call you baishua which means white left. They hate Baishwa so fucking much that they will use that unironic Asian racism <laughs> specifically to target out white people. <laughs> and it is, it's kind of comparable to how much the Chinese hate black people. So uh, based and very much red-pilled. You gotta give it to you get, red, yeah, red. We know. <laughs> okay. Red. Okay. Well, quick question: Do you guys remember Icon, no. or have you heard of Icon? No. Okay. Icon no. is a mm, Icon is a. It is an anime known specifically for the fact that everyone, well, almost everyone, especially an eleven-year-old character, had boobs literally impossible. Oh yeah, I'm seeing it now. Oh god, yeah. boobs. Oh yeah, I remember that shit. They, they're, they're literally impossible boobs. In fact, Lamb, I'm gonna send you some images. Oh, so you, Because everyone, including the uh, twin-tailed, pink-haired, 11-year-old character, had these impossible boobs. Oh my god, that is a horrible panty shot. They're, I have no idea what you're seeing, but let's not, let's forget about that. <laughs> That's what you just posted. What? what do you mean? Well, well wait, wait, what did I just post? Else po po Poe's brain dead. Forgive him. Actually, no. What no. did I just post? I didn't post anything. No, cool. no, I got you All confused I'm saying... with somebody else. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it was me. Look, all I'm saying is that, like, it's like they're choosing now to get mad for no reason. I don't get it. Like, you have Senran Kagura, you have all of these... Oh, boy, Uzaki. You have all of these um, uh, anime and manga and video games that have had 
massive breasted characters, but they choose now, and I don't get it. I just don't get it. Maybe uh, it's just me being sane, but a lot of I, them they just they they already hate large breasts because for some of them it's a two part problem. For some of these people, they are unironic baishwa who hate seeing this breast size because they um, just hate seeing the things that they want and can't have. Then there's the other side of this problem, which is the culture war issue, which is a lot of them are the baishwa that like to use media as an opportunity to try and infect a culture that they cannot physically get into because either they are an outsider to it and they're invading it and their first claim needs to be an immediate really good scout something that by progressive rules means oh this means they're justified therefore you must listen to us you need to do this what do, what do you mean you, if you if you don't do this you're, you're gatekeeping us away and we're not allowed to do that but we're allowed to do it to you and in that angle their their claim is you can't have big booby lady characters because that is a disrespecting towards the trans identity and most importantly the non-binary Entity because what if you can have a woman who does not have large breasts? Yeah, okay, but cis women do exist breasts? though, in yeah, large but they numbers. Don't care, but they don't care though. But they don't care though. Well, I don't care about them not caring. <laughs> they Look, can get bent. <laughs> Look, all I'm thinking like you you go back you go back to like when this originally like went down where like like the Japanese Red Cross released the, released the poster and everything and like the poster that you guys have seen probably scroll on the screen by now. And all it was was just trying to drum up blood donations. This was an official <laughs> organization. They knew what people liked. They knew what was interesting. And Uzaki f was fully clothed. And all she's saying is, Senpai, have you still never donated blood? Perhaps you're scared of needles. That was it. But they got mad saying it was an over-sexualized character. This is all just one side saying, because uh, her body type isn't exactly normal, it's objectifying it's over sexualized and it's evil and demonic or whatever i faintly remember that poster i think the thing they were objecting to was that it was like her chest was jutting out so it was a very dynamic angle of her breast but even still then i think it was the consistency that's kind of, of the like point a clothed maid and who cares at that point bitch had a parfait i'm trying to get that parfait fam it's like every single time whenever they Complain about something. <clears throat> I've seen women who shit. look like that. Sorry. Yeah, I've had sex with women who look like that. <laughs> we've all seen. <laughs> we've all seen women who have that kind of body proportion. So when they throw a fit like this, it is always the low key highest disrespectful thing you can do. It's weird. They call us misogynists, but these people should be having master classes. Cause like, there's is nothing it misogynist more misogynist to like big titties. Yes. I feel like it is. It is. It is. Was that a Russian accent? Are you Russian, Lamb? Do, do, was that a secret you've been hiding from us? I'm like an eighth Slav, so... Okay, so uh, you are. So you have been lying. Anyway, we'll get to that I, later. I never, I never didn't tell you. It was exactly. just a thing. That's a lie by omission. We're going oh, yeah, to have to okay. report you. We're going to have to report you to the Communist Committee. But, oh, um, that's cute. Oh, heck. Cool. Look, what's that you with the slap wrists? Mm. Oh God! <laughs> so, I'm the Black McCarthy. It's my job. It's my dream job. <laughs> Black McCarthy. Yikes! Okay. Confirmed in the chat. <laughs> Look, okay. Uh, uh, what what gets me is how like, uh, it's not even just like regular woke Twitter. I guess it's woke any Twitter who are going like, oh, she's short, so it must be kitty porn because she has big yes. tits. It's yes. just the insinuation alone that is the ridiculous yeah, bit that it's like, oh, you're a pedo and you're sexualizing children. It's like, but she's not a like, child, though. Actually, Lam, could you uh, post? They, they keep saying, like, oh, her uh, proportions are all off for her character. Could you actually post that image that I sent you of that a girl with a similar height to Uzaki doing the same pose? Oh, oh there's she's also playing um, right now. It's going in the. Uh, oh, it's going in the. Okay. In the real, oh, yeah, like yeah. literally. They're there's like, oh, there's no the way. The proportions he... are very, very similar. Yes. Like her face is very simple and cutesy, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean she's an actual child. Yeah, I get carded it for is... cigarettes all the time. Does that make me look like a child? And anybody who enjoys the way I look make them a pedophile? I have to pull my card every time. I... I have to pull my card every time I, I, I buy alcohol. Oh, and if she doesn't wear pigtails, how, how can you get something to grab on? 
just you, oh. one handed, full, full hand of hair. It's really simple. You still, you still need a handle somewhere. You don't. Mm. That's you what do. the thighs are for. I was say, hips, oh. thighs, feet, anything you can get your anyway. hands on. Anyhow. Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 feet will get us to monetize now. <laughs> yeah, oh, that will definitely get us to monetize. Feet. But ignore it. Press ignore F it. in chat ignore for it. feet. <laughs> See, no, it, it gets us demonetized because we haven't found furry donators yet. Can we oh. please have let's furry not, donators? Let's not mention furry. Let's not mention furry. Let's not. Let's Do you know how much money they have? I'm aware. But okay, Do you I'm know not going to get demonetized before costs, they show up. Bruh. Hell yeah. Look, They've got I'm money not to throw around. I'm going to get demonetized before they show up. If, if a furry, look, if any furry wants to donate to Digital Blackface or be a sponsor, I will love to speak with you after this show. But for now, let's keep it on the down low. Also, side note, I'm still looking for a furry artist for my art drive. It, it, just just hit me up in the DMs. At Mr. No, no, it, it really but was weird. Like, look what someone just said. <laughs> just remember how people called Elon Musk a pedo for being married to Grimes. Grimes! Yeah, yeah Grimes an adult woman. Are they married like, or is he just her baby mama? Baby mama. I don't, yeah, whatever. All I'm saying is that like, like never in my life would I be like, Grimes is a child. That woman right there, that's a child. That whole ass woman having a child, that's a child. That's a child. Babies <laughs> having babies. More importantly, though, on the proportion. Thing, no, uh, there's a, there's we a call picture. that we call that a twenty twenty year old with an eight year old Twitter. <laughs> but um, there there's this there's a picture with a proportion that it, it there I forget the text. I'll, I'll paraphrase the text, oh, but it's a picture of Uzaki. It's it's a Brickle picture thing. of Uzaki, and it's a sizing comparison where it takes the size of her head and mo and, and, and compares the model size of the body and her body is like multiple is like five times her head and six. it's like this six six there you go I, I don't remember the text at all but it basically was pointing out that if this is a child this child has the kind of size that makes this impossible so what the hell are you saying and it's weird that they tried to make the it, it was, she is short therefore she is a a, obviously a child comparison because on top of the fact that this is that master class misogyny that I was talking about um, it's weird to point out and say hey her size means that she is a child it's like so if I have a tall fucking 17 year old here who's taller than me if I, if I climb her does that mean that she is now a woman because of her height actually that would make her a tree <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I that actually remember the exact image. Some it was an artist who did a compare, who did an analysis. Even though she's four nine, adult proportions. If you're about, if your head is one sixth of your body, like in terms of like height, that's an adult. You're an adult. That's normal adult proportions. Fuck there's off. Also, there's also the problem that the proportions of a woman are accurate to Uzaki's height. Yes, and not just to her height as a woman, but also as a Japanese woman. Yeah, you know what especially. I think the problem is, is that she actually looks so close to what a real woman's proportions with huge chatas looks like, and that's what's got everybody all fucked off. I guess you're not, you're not wrong. You know, I think if she had, I think if she had a, lo a longer hair, maybe they'd be less mad too. Yeah, the but no, the the reason she has short hair is because she's fucking annoying and childish. Yeah, that's true. And there are women with that haircut, so it's not like... There are grown-ass women with that haircut. <laughs> there like, are hot grown-ass women with that haircut. Yeah. Like, yes. I love I love women with the bob cut, but it do be making her look like she is a feminine... Uh, a, a feminine... Uh, fuck, what is his goddamn name? I'm not, I'm, not fan. I'm not a the fan of the, of the Dante? bob cut myself. Not Dante. But although Dante Don't could it. look like that. But Nero? No, the other one. You know, Nero, yes. She looks like okay. she's a femme Nero. Oh, that's hot. I mean, it eh. is hot. Oh, oh, oh that's hot. oh my god. Oh, oh. Mmm. Mmm. Back to back to the insanity about Uzaki. First of all, like, there's so much about this. Like, do you remember the the image someone drew of Abby literally decapitating Uzaki with a punch? And oh yeah. Uh, not, not nothing against that guy. He, he's just a, a fun troll. But people <clears throat> unironically love that. And I have seen other art of someone cutting off Uzaki's head or killing her or what some other gore. And I'm like, 
Why do you hate this character so much? What did it do to because you? Because Uzaki is Haram. <laughs> she is Haram. It's like they're so mad that Uz- Uzaki-chan is popular and whatever they like isn't, or whatever. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's her it's... big old eyes. Her eyes take up like a third of her face. But that's big not particularly Stop at me with uncommon them big old for anime characters, though, is it? That's yeah. true, it's not. It's not. Grown or young, it doesn't really matter. Unless they're like really old, in which case they look like they've got just slits for eyes. Yes, that's true. Oh, speaking of speaking of which, um, somebody did a uh, face fix for Uzaki, <laughs> like an ironic face fix. They gave her slanted eyes. Oh. oh, what was that? No, 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 guys! What was that potato <laughs> image? That one that Baku's been using, where someone did a quote fix unquote, and the it just looked like a square person with a potato for a head. Does anybody have that? Oh God! Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm I know about. the image. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, they made her literally a flathead. That one was pretty awful. It's the mother of all omelets here, senpai! Anyway, sorry. But the Armstrong Uzaki still makes me laugh every time I see it, see it come across the screen. But the last one, that uh, last Uzaki before the uh, Twitter be like, I fixed it, that is one of my favorite redraws of Uzaki. It really, I like it a lot. And then the, the seven-year-old boy Uzaki that still makes me laugh because it, it, I'm not gonna lie. Like, here's the thing. With without the without the curves like if she was like if she was perfectly like a, a flat uh rectangle rect, rectangle she would look like a seven-year-old boy to me that's just i mean that's kind of like she yeah if you take away ears, all the feminine features it's a boy <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah that's what i'm I, I, you know what i mean like if you made if you made her if you took away her curves if you made her uh just a straight line and made her non-masculine. She's, Honestly, if you took her away her boobs, she longer. would look kind of curveless, not curveless, but a lot, a lot less curvy anyway. So maybe that's the how... issue. But even but still, still, not all women are curvy head. either. Some of them are just kind of, you know, yeah, straight that's down. Transphobic. It's transphobic to uh... say that. Uh, but it, I, but <laughs> cis women look like that though. Not just trans women, and not even all trans women don't have curves either. Have you seen Blair White? Yeah, I have seen Blair White. I'm sure that's you. not. <laughs> <laughs> How much of Blair White have you seen? No, you, I, I used to watch her. I used to watch her when I was in like high, uh, high school or early college. But that sounds then a lot different than what I. She was trans. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds a lot different than what I guess my, 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 my phrasing sounds different. But you know what? I'm gonna let Your that go. Phrasing always sounds different. You know what? I'll phrase you. You know what? Okay. Why did I you say that? You do shit, bitch. Russian be quiet. Uh... Anyway. Yes, we're we're against Russians in this in this podcast. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Carl, did you have anything no, I else hate, to say? I always what? hating on my people, jeez. Oh, it doesn't matter who they are. Yes, yes, that's that's exactly factual. I'm not allowed oh to make my fun, God. Of you, fun of your people. I'll get in trouble. Yes, you'll get in Twitter big trouble. Twitter will silence don't, me. Don't worry. Twitter, don't worry. Twitter and YouTube I... will silence you. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Bully him, it's going to be me. <sighs> you know what? Um, what, was that, what was that anime that came out not too long ago? Um, Ishizoku Reviewers. Ishizoku Reviewers. Like, yeah. they weren't as mad as that as they are this. And it's really no, funny to me. Because I think, like, this is just, like... I guess Ishizoku was Im- immediately came out and said, like, Oh, uh, we're a very sexual anime. But this one is more slice of life. So they, I guess, just hate it more because of that. Because it's not immediately... Oh, so it wasn't, like, <laughs> technically supposed to be sexual. It just was because boobs? Yeah, like, Ishizoku straight up said... We review brothels. We review fantasy brothels. That's what we are. Get used to it. If you don't like it, go away. So they went away. But with this one, it's just a, a girl and her senpai, and they're like, you know what? I don't like those <clears throat> boobs. I don't like them. They don't. They don't. I don't like them. 
there's an argument there that more than likely the people who are complaining are basic bitch seasonal watchers and they complain about this because they're jumping on mal and they're looking at what is being watched by big people or you got people like lawcon also known as pedantic romantic who will make those stupid ass arguments that usually crop up on the timeline that we all see that will say oh my god this show's so problematic because insert bullshit here and more than likely, what really happened was that it was an intersection of right place, right time, right influence, where they were mad because the character's popular, and also they're watching the show, and it's the kind of same thing that we had with that one guy that was crying about Fire Force and saying, oh, this is just egregious fan service, or he was covering his eyes, or, or no, no, that thing of a different one. Oh, this one, yeah, that, he, he was, was playing a game it. while yeah, covering was, his eyes. No, that yeah, that's a different thing entirely. That's not the person I'm thinking of. This person was watching Fire Force, and then some fan service came on screen, and he's like, "Oh my god, oh, I'm tired." And it's like you're watching shonen anime and also slice of life anime that are explicitly eroge, and not just eroge, but are intentional fan service. Mm. You don't get to complain when you're watching ecchi anime. If you don't true. like any etchy anime, why are you watching it at that point? In the first place, yeah, of course. It, it, becomes, it becomes the comparison of the donkey argument, right? Oh, you see, I, I like anime. It's just that I'm looking for something that, you know, I'm looking for something that shows me something different. And that would make sense. If they weren't doing what I clapped out fucking Joe, uh, Joe the Anime Man for, because he made this exact same comparison to Kaifuku, and it doesn't make sense because his entire video on it was, I really like dark fantasy anime. I love Berserk. I love Claymore. But this is this is too edgy, guys. Come on. And then in the middle of it, pulls out the fucking book and makes it an entire. But I'm I ain't no bitch. Big. I I read the book, guys. I bought my product. And then at the end, wraps it up with a. Yeah, you know it, it exists. It's just like all the other shit. But I can't wait to see the salt over it. It's that shit where they want to inject themselves into the conversation with nothing to add because it's not the one that they personally like. And that's whatever, right? Question, Carl, um, yeah. Carl, Lamb, Mariner. What do you think of the flesh fang? Flesh fang. Flesh fang. Oh, uh, that's, I mean, I don't. Re I don't. What I is it supposed it. to represent? Why is it there? I don't. It's supposed to represent crooked teeth. That's what moe fangs actually represent. Oh, well, I'm yeah. not against it. I think that I I usually see it only in bits and pieces in animes on any one character at one time. Like it's not something that tends to last. It's usually something that's like an emotional thing that maybe their mouth is more open or something. I'm not accustomed to seeing it all the time. Yeah. No, um, just to, clar now just to yeah. clarify, the flesh fang is the you're, you're talking about the phenomenon on of female characters when they are having themselves a an ojo he may laugh where they have the fucking fanged tooth, not a fanged flesh right. I'm talking about Uzaki's flesh fang. Okay. That's just a stylized uh, version of the Moe fang. Yeah. yeah, that's just a stylized version of the fang. That's just common in all anime because that's a, that's a aesthetic a draw. style that the, the, that the Eurasian um, demographic likes to see. It's so much so that it is actually a commonality that you will see women intentionally get their teeth uh, disjointed and crooked so that they can have that aesthetic in their own face expression. Because it's it's something that naturally happens <clears throat> when a Asian featured face smiles. That's just how their teeth presents. It's a very toothy smile. So that toothy smile has the fang, and then the fang becomes part of the image because that is seen as cute. And oh, Mika from, from Lupin Ranger. Mm. Um, okay. So we okay. So we're 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 basically reaching the point where uh we usually bring someone in to uh, bring one or two people in to is available to to uh uh share their points. So we don't like to have more than four or five people in it at the time. So Carl Mariner, you mind if we switch you guys out for a bit? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So let me just hop in. Let me just hop into uh green room and see who wants to join in. Okay. Snake Lord, when were we talking about vampirism? Oh, the tooth uh -huh. thing. 
Yeah, the two. Yes. Three. Uzaki yeah, flashlight. Yeah, okay, now listen, you wouldn't be able to get away with it because of copyright. Uh, yep. They're already, mad, they're already but, crashing mad, down on that. It just mad, makes things worse. Mad. I like how we still have the fucking um, Tahano Uzaki in the fucking rotation. Mm -hmm. Oh, always. I wish I could have had time to prepare so that I could actually bring more of these things, but not in the cards. Uh, it's just me, a punished Carl, returning to his homeland, wanting to play nothing but PSO2. Play what? Fantasy Star Online 2. I don't know what that it's is. Finally, it's it's a weeb game. It's finally uh. instant. It was supposed to come to America in uh, from the Sega West announcement in 2013, 2014, but <clears throat> they just weren't able to. It's finally here now. And of course, once again, the console players got fleeced. Thanks for the beta test, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's it's getting it's getting the Final Fantasy fourteen treatment. Oh, oh, oh. good evening. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. We're, we're on stream. How are you? I'm dying. The boss isn't back yet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Hello. Yeah, Hi. yeah. Sorry about that. How so, we've got Ivy and we've got Faye. So, oh, Faye, you want to go first and tell us what you think about Uzaki specifically? Okay. Personally, even yeah. though I like her character, she's not anything special, even though you know I do relate to her. I just feel as if a lot of the drama has been overblown. And I, I, I've seen a lot of characters with bigger breasts than her. So you think it's, it's blown out of proportion for such a small character? It very much so. Yeah, I can understand that. Big things come in small packages. Mm. Oh, I guess their, their packages aren't really small, but I guess she is. So big things come in big bras. <laughs> Ivy, what do you think? Um, I think people are blowing it way out of proportion. And like when I was younger, I, I've, I've seen worse. Like I've seen a lot worse from anime, anime. and she just looks like the average anime girl just with like really really huge tits do you have any examples of ones i mean just ones that maybe everybody else might know or anybody else besides me might know um then one I know that, is one. because what i saw um was that she looked uh baby face and stuff like that but then she had big tits but uh I, I, there's this one character from Fairy Tale. Her name's Levy, and she's the same height and shit like that. She doesn't have big tits, but she has a huge ass, and she basically ca has the same body type, just minus uh, the big tits. And no one really seems to complain about her. Well, that's because there's everybody also, has ass. Not everybody has big titty. There's also a uh, Dragon Maid, where like the girls are. Dragon super Maid is a big one. With we got Lukoa. Lukoa is the one everyone always goes to when it comes to large breasts. I'm also gonna pull Lotto in to make it five in here. Okay. Right. Lotto, what do you think when it comes to Uzaki Chan? Oh, I didn't realize you pulled me in. Okay. Yes. So what do you think? But come on. Okay. So I have two hot takes. One, this isn't a hot take. I'm just gonna preface this. Uh, you are not a pedophile if you find her attractive. She has big ol', you know, uh, certain parts of her body that an underage person probably won't have. And it's a sign of, you know, uh, physical maturity. However, at least to me, her face does look fairly young. Yeah, yeah I, I, made like that I made that point myself earlier. Here's the thing. She doesn't look like an underage girl. She looks like an underage boy. I don't know how the fuck they did it. But, like, they definitely did it. I don't think... I think she just has, like, the pixie cut because she has, like, you know, the big eyes and the little fangs. And she looks fairly it, feminine. Also, why why do anime people make, make the fangs? That's one thing I've never understood. Because apparently it looks cute. It's just a cute little add-on. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense, but man, I just goes as far as far back. You just see if if you want to go for realism, I hate the argument that 
Oh yeah, it's she's unrealistic. It's like well, if you wanted realistic shit, you should go to actual real life shows. I I don't know like there's a reason why everything's exaggerated. Oh. Oh, Goku can like, you know, blast a planet. That's realistic. Oh, this person has slightly small hips and slightly la- larger breasts. Ah, I'm sorry, but we-, we can't have that. That's a very good point, and it really shows a lot. That it when it comes to why people are freaking out. Okay, so Lara, I'm gonna pull you back out. Uh, Faye, right. uh, Ivy, thanks for your uh giving your parts. No problem. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna pull in Gandalf. Gandalf, what's up? Oh, oh, hey, what's up? Howdy. Okay. And we also Howdy. got nothing in the room right now. Nothing. How are you? Nothing. You there? This is what happens when you don't ask if people are ready. Yes, it's true. Jeremy, <laughs> how are you? What's up, bud? Oh, hey, buddy. How you going? Okay. What do you think? What What do you think about Uzaki Chan, the short stack uh, energy? On- uh, Honestly, it kind of hit a personal zone for me and everything because I loved girls just like Izaki Chan. Because oh yes, I'm here. Oh Hello. shit, you gotta let me know when you pull me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. my fault. Oh, like I, that. I have like the scream on in both ears, so I'm just gonna focus on you guys now. Okay? Yes, you do that. But yes, like it was a very personal thing because like I loved girls like that. They were great girlfriends. They were very caring. They were always there for you and everything. But they had energy, they had life to them. And a lot of other girls who were like much more like uptight and reserved kind of hated her for that because like she would just be like, she would run up to you and like, you know, hop into your arms like something out of a movie. And I'm just like, I am in heaven. And the only thing that really breaks my heart is I had to move away from her because my job and everything. Like I still occasionally like see her on like Instagram and I shoot her a text and like happy birthday and that kind of stuff. But, like, I just don't do long-distance relationships because I'm very bad at them. I'm not going to lie. They are But mm-hmm. still, like, yeah. then, like, I see something like Izaki-chan. It's just like, ah, that's what I remember. This this fills my heart with joy. This is, this, I, I love this. I've been staring at this picture for five hours. And then I go online and I see everyone just pretty much losing their mind over this girl. I'm like, what the? For this what? is the perfect waifu. She's realistic. I dated <laughs> someone just like her, and it was amazing and great. Like, why y'all so mad? And then I kind of figured it out. Like, y'all jealous because you ain't got energy because you can't rock the bob, and you don't. You're not light enough that someone could casually grab you in their arms and everything. Like, carry you around and swing you around. I oh, kind of that why made you gotta me hurt think me like, like this, man. <laughs> not like <laughs> you <laughs> much time like on you are beautiful and strong and independent oh, yes you. other ones very... are like the 200 plus pound land with they sometimes outweigh me and i'm a pretty buff guy at about 230 and i've seen some of these kicks that are well into like 250 and i've one time seen one at close to 280 i was like how are you 18 uh, yikes.com Wait, exactly. 280. 280 as I'm, I'm 260. I'm 260 and I'm 5'9. I am. She's about two four inches three. shorter than you and has like another. How, how much did you say you weighed again? 262 I'm, right now. I'm 101. Oh, bless you, child. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm literally weighed twice your weight right now at just a. Uh, very modest. Everyone's twice my weight. The wind could blow me away. Oh. That's why I can't go outside during tornadoes. It's not. It's not. It's not at all funny. It's very. It's very serious. Oh, look! All I'm oh, saying I'm is like. Oh, convincing. Um, <laughs> all I'm saying is that pe- people can't get mad at I don't know Joe. Uh, uh, what, what's the name? The the, the star star platinum dude. Jo- uh, uh, Joe Toro. Joe Toro. Joe Toro. Yeah, you can't get mad at uh, Uzaki when you got Jotaro looking forty-two with seventeen. Come on. <laughs> and he looks yeah, like the whole. He looks like, closer to forty-two so in big? part six. He looked closer to seventeen in part six than he did in his own yeah, damn he, part. He ages backwards, like Oprah, or um, well, Oprah. 
<laughs> My, uh, she's the only like one capable of. Him. That's the only one I can think of right now. You get oh, an was... age aggression, and you get an I mean, age aggression. I Idris Elba. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, what's his name? I was gonna say, um, uh, Keanu Reeves, but I was like, no, Keanu Reeves just looks. Gent- his age kind. is like a fine wine. Yes. It's like the reincarnation of yes. Christ. Very fine wine indeed. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, but no. Definitely um Jotaro did get younger as he got older. Maybe Star Platinum is just keeping him young somehow. Or some of Dio's blood got in him. Either way. Oh uh, Uzaki, no one should be mad Dio over Uzaki. Man, my, to say anything. No, no. Like uh, if anything, Uzaki is one of the more real in quotes anime characters I've seen in some times. And that's just because a lot of anime characters are quite literally just about as cartoony as you get. Even when you can pull back some of their more layers, like even thinking like back to Death Note and something like that. Like, man, despite me, trying to be real, these guys are cartoony as hell. It gets me really confused considering the fact that I don't understand why such a forgettable slice of life anime is getting so much shit when we literally already had things like. How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, Musume Monster. Like, we've had these shows. No one threw a hissy fit as much yeah. as they're throwing a hissy fit over this show. That's my True. that's my thing with... Uh, no, that, that, how, to, how Not to Summon a Demon Lord was way worse. Like, I watched that. That got to, like, the episode with the L's, and I was like, this is just, this is just hentai. This is just hentai. No, it's not just hentai. It's ecchi. It's you know what I mean. Beautiful ecchi. <laughs> Like, I was like, but then huh. we also, no, but then ahead, it's just, but then you got those people that are just like, I wish we could go back into the old days where anime didn't have much fan service, forgetting the fact that we had shit like Golden Boy and Cutie Honey. And Iken. <laughs> oh, fuck. I wish I could forget Iken. Everybody would take it forget Iken. Do they forget, it's... like, how much fan service was in our, I mean, Unuyasha of all things? Inuyasha? Like, yeah. Bro. I Even love how no one had a ton of fan service that they just. I love how nobody's shitting on Inuyasha. Like the whole plot of that show is literally a hundred-year-old man Pumpkin <laughs> tries to groom a teenage girl. Yeah, but he's like perpetually <laughs> seventeen. You don't age like... very fast. He's just yeah. Well, remember, he got sealed to a tree for like a hundred years. <laughs> look, and... yeah, that look, does not count. Like, look, those one hundred people. Years. If... <laughs> If people have, if people can talk about um, Edward Cullen, they can talk about Inuyasha. Uh, I, I, but Edward Cullen I, was I conscious agree. for all of his life, as far as I know. If I'm yes, remembering, but he's he stuck at seventeen forever. So you know, I'm just saying. Eh. Uh, My, yeah, but he doesn't have cute dog boy ears. Oh God! You know, I just I realized mean, something. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. The fire, fire, because I was re, I was rewatching an old playthrough of um Fire Emblem: The Sacred Stones, right? And I realized, wow, there's a lot of shit that if it were to be remade, it could not be remade exactly the way it is. Because I think I made a tweet about it. It has a lot of necrophilia and a lot of incest. I'm listening. A lot of incest. <laughs> All the good uh, stuff. What did you say that much. anime was again? So I can write this yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> On my uh, to no, watch it's list. no, no, no. It's um, Fire Emblem: The Sacred Stones. It's a video game. It's a really good one. Okay, what was it for? Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's for like the Game Boy. If I'm not mistaken, oh, I am. Hell yeah. oh. that's my jam. Oh, um, Game Boy, yeah. <laughs> they let like... a lot of things slide back in the day. I'm a little... Uh, I know a show, an old show called Midori Days, where. Midori is canonically 16 years old and they show her tits like every episode and I just I just don't get why Uzaki is the one everyone's freaking out about if anime has shown like girls tits before and no one's freaked out about it before. When did this anime come out? Uh 2004, I think. Okay, so Where it's been you? like just kind of flying under the radar for literally 16 I mean, years now. I looked it up, but it was like some videos get like over 100,000 views on it. Like Is Twitter so the just... only place talking about this or is this like a YouTube phenomenon as well where no, everybody's all pissed people off? People on YouTube are sadly talking about it too. Uh... <laughs> 
I, I, I can't even look, 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 I feel like laughing if we have to talk about if we have to talk about Inuyasha, we have to talk about Aang. Aang is an 114 year old, 112 year old man. And he was I mean, an 112 yeah, year old man crushing the... crushing on a 14 year old. I feel like that we have to cancel Aang Aang Avatar for that. Can't but we I... cancel Korra for sexually assaulting someone? Did she do that? Is no one gonna talk about that? You know, we really should do no, like we, can't. we really should do some reaction episodes of Korra. Just just like commentary. No, commentary. No. Of, I, I would of be the, down for that. That would be I, a I would definitely be down, down for that. For that. I have nothing better to I do. I don't watch trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why are you I'm addicted here? to watching yeah, I know. trash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said I don't you watch said trash. I didn't say that I wasn't me. associated with trash. You say you don't watch trash, yet you follow me. I, I, it's confusing. <laughs> you follow I me. I mean, first. but you're like the sparkly garbage can that On people like profile. to watch. You're like a dumpster fire. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Anyway, I'm just this... a lighter fluid to this dumpster fire. I just enjoy watching the flames burn. Burn I'm it just to like the ground. Arsonist. To the ground. Burn, baby. <laughs> Poe doesn't really <laughs> post trash. He posts like what my nightmares are going to look like. Blocking po. look, I have to no, find most... a new man to buy cringe look, from, a new cringe peddler, most, because Poe's lacking. Most of my new stuff, look, I can't, I can't, I literally cannot afford to post my stuff right now because Twitter will get me for it. You know the last, one of the last things they got me for? I posted a surgery. Why would you do that? It what was, kind of yeah, they, were, they were moving a massive dildo from from a man, and <laughs> oh oh, I that's remember not, that's that. That's not a surgery. That's <laughs> a porno. They were asking me like, "How is no, this guy alive?" It was a surgery. It was a surgery, and I, I'm wondering how he was alive too, because I feel like his organ should have been crushed. Really, what happened to his? What happened to that man's butthole? Why? Why? Because I just realized why? it got stuck inside of him, and that thing was massive, the size of a baby. What happened to that poor man's behind? Why are we shoving baby-sized dildos up someone's ass? Ask that I man. Don't know, but I, I. And you know what? The like, worst thing about them it. The worst thing about it is it's not even an uncommon thing. Like I, I tried to look look it up to find where the video video originated from, and I got several different links to several different cases. Oh my god. Like men getting such a massive things stuck in there that they need surgery to remove it. And I'm like, and what made me laugh was the doctors took a, a, a picture of themselves, and um, there was one Asian doctor who looked like, like, like this is what this is what my life has come to. This is removing things from me men's orifices. This is what I spent eight years of my life studying for, yeah. or eight or twelve. <laughs> Lord knows how long doctors studied. I mean, at least he makes bank. True. I think. I True. hope. And you've got a lot of interesting <laughs> stories to tell the lads. A lot of interesting stories. A you know what? Actually, like... guys, um, you guys mind if I swap you out from uh, for a few more people? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, Thank go you. for it. No problem. I'm gonna go head to the green room and ask uh, some people. So you guys just chat among yourselves. But yeah, uh, I do like watching this different kind of cringe and stuff like that. I did not think I would become addicted to it. Of just like, oh no, I hate seeing this. You get like... addicted to cringe. I mean, yeah, I do. I. I'm not addicted to it, but I will consume it sometimes. It's almost like a hard reset. I, like, I've been having a really awesome day, and I need to, like, just reel that back in, back to a neutral zone. Yeah. Sometimes I just it's gotta like, come back wow, down to reality. I'm having a great I day. The sun is shining. My day. Everything is beautiful. And Poe just something, some, posted something. Oh, no. Poe just posted oh, something. Anytime he uh, says, uh, hey, get ready, or you want to see what's above this? I have oh, to those are my least favorite myself. ones. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, those are those those are. And I'm you don't want to see huh. what's above this tweet. <laughs> like, I feel oh, no. like in the moment, I do want to see what's above that tweet. It's kind of like looking at I get like upset. a car wreck on the highway. We're like, oh, I don't want to, but I also hey, hey. need to. Hello. Howdy. Hello. Hello, what have I missed? Hello. We were talking about dildos, <laughs> and oh, I didn't oh, start oh, it. Whoa. It wasn't. You know, fault there's this, this weird time. site I've been to. Um, it's called Drildo. Drildo. Okay. <laughs> Drildo. <laughs> yes. Is that a dildo I, that's a uh, drill? Paul or is that yes. Yes. To a drill? What is up, guys? Ah, uh, sup? Uh, uh, a lot. 
your thoughts. I have a lot of things about to say about Izaki Chan. Oh. Okay, but before we before we continue, before we continue, I have to explain to the chat. Look, the reason why you don't feel anything from my cringe posting recently, the last few months, is because during election years, Twitter is very ban happy, and I'm not trying to get got. Finally, and some of you are just numb emotionally from yeah. consuming. Yeah, I, I have all the time. I have numbed I have numbed I mean, a lot of you. I have me. posted yeah. I have posted murder. I have posted death. I have posted death and murder. I have posted um. Gore, so I have posted murder as like a sub, and we love you for it. Oh, kind of <laughs> yeah, like I posted random death, a bit. I posted random death, and then specific murder. So, you know, it's mm. different. Yeah, we still like it's, your it's, post, it's, though. It's important to make the distinction. Yes, of course. You can't just say, you can't just say death and then mean murder and death together. People will be confused. I like, was if they say, expect, death can be accidental. Like, if they expect to see a Chinese man get yeeted into the uh, uh, the stratosphere... The atmosphere? No, yeah. Through, uh, because uh, China is just Michael Because Bing of uh, um, a, a furnace blowback, they expect that, but then you show them some dude beating another man to death, they'll be confused and disgusted. And, like, why would you show me death when I expected murder? I mean, why would you show me murder when I expected death? <laughs> Hey. He, he didn't now? just Sorry. bleed out. He got his face smashed in. Yeah. So I just wanted a guy to bleed out. I didn't want this. This is disgusting. Why would you show me this? I I will be I will be reporting you to your manager. I'm like, <laughs> I, I am the manager. <laughs> this Pen is why you don't Ultima, tell people po where you is work. The Cenobite, Cenobite of Twitter, and I couldn't agree more. Except no, he's not know the it. same kind of like that's awesome, not, sexy. That's not, that's not fair. That's not fair. Um, I feel no, like um, Mr. I feel like Mr. Numbers, Mr. Numbers eight three zero zero whatever is more a Cenobite. I'm more um. Hey kids, want to see it? No, he's more. Hey kids, want to see a dead body? I'm more. <laughs> I can show you. I'm more Willy Wonka. He's more. Who wants to see a pre last asshole? You, you just hand them the sandpaper and then scream encouragement as they scrub themselves. Look, uh. I have. I have I have shown people <laughs> a baby getting thrown as a weapon and a distraction. Okay, you so it, me. <laughs> it, it was in China. That doesn't I can't be I can't be faulted for that. It was China? Blame the Chinese. I. Bruh, China is kind uh, of a Michael Bay movie, though. <laughs> no, he is. I remember. No, there, no, was... there was a there was a video where uh, there must have been a sinkhole or something in the middle of a very oh large God. roadway, and there is a fella on a moped, and I don't know if he just wasn't looking he where just, he was going, but he just he like just goes into it. Oh uh, yeah, just portaled right on. No, he's it. gone now. No, let he's me tell you how China China he's been Michael swallowed. <laughs> he got sent to Brazil. Know, look, there was a guy who was literally pushing a wheelbarrow into a cave. He was in there for like five seconds, did nothing. The whole cave exploded. Like a Michael Bay worthy <laughs> explosion. And then oh, the guy gets yeah, oh, the oh, in that one video just... where that guy's just stacking up stuff, he takes a step on the truck and it and just it explodes in the flames. And I'm like, dude, what, what what is China making their stuff from? What is going on here? Nitroglycerin. Explorium. That's what they're making it from. Nitroglycerin. So Bakugo would be right at home. Bakugo would be right at home in China. No, if you put Bakugo in China, China would be gone in a day. He already stuck to explosions. But back to the point, back to Uzaki. So, rubber fist fight, tell us what you think. Yes. Um, I think the entire thing's fucking hilarious. Yeah, agree. <laughs> agree on that. Why do you think everybody's so um, bad? Yeah, well, like... Oh my god, so guys, it's funny as shit. Sorry, uh, Rubber, I gotta pause you. We already got demonetized. How? Oh god, really? I don't know! <laughs> Yo, yeah. that was quick. Ah, uh, you too? <laughs> oh, well. Only, that was only, quick. Only two that of my happened episodes, years ago. 14 and 15, are still monetized. The the no. validate episode in this one is already demonetized. It's been I don't we know how long it's been. We didn't say anything naughty. We didn't. I said it's, it's, it's the. It's, hey Paul, you're one of the greats now. You know what? You know, what, you know, what, you know what I think it is. You know what I think it is. Huh. I think it literally is the 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 uh, the the uh, t thumbnail. It's the thumbnail. See, that oh, would be yeah, your YouTube fault entirely. Uh, in which case, you know that one. I'm taking. <laughs> I'm taking the blame for this one. Next week is going to be a very sanitized, very neat thumbnail no breasticles at all to show man we can't have anything in detroit <laughs> <laughs> you so, can't stop yourself I'm, I'm glad rubber sorry about that sorry continue no, no no that's cool that's cool uh so i was saying in the in the discord chat just before but i think what it is is she represents the perfect storm of 
attributes that the what do I call them? Danger hair, leg beard, woke scolders love. To I call them whales, but whatever. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to you know. <laughs> she's, we, oh, I'm she's... sorry. It's some from some, someone that dated one. I'm bitter. I'm sorry. Hey, whales are actually very healthy. They swim a lot. That all that's muscle and blubber. So they're like kingpin. Yeah, like the kingpin. Kingpin. yeah, like kingpin. Okay. But uh, like, so she's diminutive. She's got a huge rack. She's kind of young looking. Yeah. Uh, these are these are things that these people love to hate, and they're all together in one. Uh, and they do try to claim that these diminutive, big racked, uh, young looking women don't exist, but anybody with a set of eyes and half a brain knows they do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it might be one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's effectively just, it's a big jealousy bent that they're on, more or less. That's what that I was thinking too, on. where it's just they want to be her and can't be, so they have yeah. to hate her instead. Well, have a look at look at all the look at all the oh who I fixed it art that's going around. Like, what have they so done? Much, Most of them have so much of removed that. overtly feminine characteristics. They've made her look. They've ugged her up, basically. The one that we mm. were talking about earlier, the one that has been posted in a in a GC somewhere, um, <laughs> looked like they made her into a giant seven year old with <laughs> big titties and a potato face. Can it, I just it, say it something? Really does, just what? Uh, all this, like, like what uh, Rubber Fist Fight said. All these traits, like, angered them. But it's the breasts that are the main thing, because, yeah. like, you like. I remember this one. Uh, I think it's it may have it may have not gotten an anime adaptation. That's why it isn't well known yet. But it's like this girl that looks similar to Azaki Chan, but dark skin and. Long Oh fuck! Oh, we what lost happened? one. Oh, we lost. Who, who did we just man lose? down? Man down. Oh, we lost. Uh, senior Thickless. It was Ding senior Thickless. Senior Thickless. <laughs> let, let me get him back. Let me get him back. No problem. <laughs> Keep talking. Okay. okay. Oh, no, no. All right. oh, he's here. Oh. We did. I'm sorry, it. my internet is bad, so I'm sorry that happened. Shame no problem. No problem. Uh, uh, I forget the name of the girl, but her. She's got long black hair, and she looks like Izaki Chan, but with darker skin and less titties. But no one's getting mad about that, even though she's actually underage. And I've seen more hentai of her than Uzaki Chan. Do you think it has mm. anything to do with her skin color? Not even trying to bait oh, here, God, but that actually... One, that one actually, I would think not, because I've seen them time. get mad at... Uh, I've seen some people get mad at Yurichi from Bleach, so I don't think it's her skin color. Okay. Yeah, but the breasts are the main thing. People, they're trying to make it look like, oh no, she just looks underage and like a child. No! There's plenty of girls in anime that look like that. There's plenty of girls, plenty in, of girls in the like real There's world. There's a literal yeah, exactly, pedophile exactly. anime. There's a literal I'm... pedophile anime where, like, this teacher is, like, dating this young girl that ain't got nothing. And he just has a harem of, like, girls in, like, elementary. And no one gets mad about that, but they get mad at Uzaki-chan. They probably so I'm just like not wind of that one yet. There was well, one that someone photoshopped like the face of a baby onto Uzaki yeah. Chan. This no, is what someone it, like, literally that exists. No, 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 no. The funny thing, is, the funny yeah, thing here is the the that was a. Uh -huh. I remember I, I retweeted that. That was a Smash player. When I, I saw that, like, I just shook my head. Oh god, the irony! You must really be enjoying that glass house, bro. That's <laughs> literally what I tweeted back to them. Ah, uh, Smash but, players. Like, and, and there was the other day as well, like expanding outward from the just the anime thing. There was uh, Via Sense, Varescence, however you say her name, the Varescence, yeah, Fat Lover sixty nine. Yeah, straight up, people she's were telling her she's friend. not real. Like, no, there was literally there was literally a tweet. The tweet that made her that made her account blow up. Um, someone made art of her, and they were like, "Wow, I really hate when like um, the these pictures with like no offense to you, but I hate when these pictures." have breasts to take up like so much space and then she was like yeah. that, that's literally me and that was, that's literally what you made her not exist. back from january that was back in january and i actually feel sorry for her because of that because i'm like imagine people online just telling you you shouldn't exist because of your body type oh, no. a lot of a lot of doesn't uh, exist a lot of women extra come dimensional after being a lot of women come after her for that. Of my very active imagination. Like, but not even that. Not even just that. Like she has been attacked by 
trad Twitter because oh why don't you cover up more like she wears a lot of clothes she wears yeah. clothes she just doesn't wear anything revealing but they're like you should hide yourself I'm like dude what is what is your deal yo yeah, what's wrong with having confidence are in we, your own are body are we really getting back to the the era where we're telling women what to wear now Do yes want to go back there bro everything comes full circle. <laughs> It really has. Oh, God, it's it's like a fucking pendulum, just keeps mm -hmm. swinging. And it's been happening. It's not even just about Uzaki. It's been more about yes. that too. Like, uh, just a short intermission about um people hating cottagecore or people hating that straight white women are into cottagecore and that cottagecore belongs to lesbians. Cottagecore is the dumbest shit oh, wait. ever. No, 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 I'm just gonna say, I feel like the first people into cottagecore were straight white women they because, were yeah they were because that's kind of the whole cottages were used by straight white women it's, at some well, it's point it's been hijacked and made into an aesthetic instead of a lifestyle yeah, but, which is like what yeah. we've been experiencing in quarantine which is baking bread being a homemaker because you've got fuck all else yep. to do wait wait, wait. Yeah. are they saying that are you saying that queer lesbians hi are committing cultural appropriation Yes. Oh no, okay. not good. Shin. Good. My good. God. That's, that's, yes, we. I knew this. Poor Shin. They have, a, they have a. Wait. What happened? Oh, they're still attacking uh, Shen right it's now. It's our culture. Are they still attacking Shen right now? Yeah. What, 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 what else? What else did they do? Uh, he said it's okay to have friends with different political views. It's even healthy because oh, yeah, yep, it so breaks yeah. echo chambers, which is bad for your brain. Yeah. And he got attacked. I read those comments. I'm like. Yeah, Do these I saw, people I saw, uh, like not get uh, the is, message. It is. It is. It is not it is only a correct point of view; that is a healthy point of view. Yes, they the need to understand. Racism is not a political it's... view. Racism is not a political view. It really isn't. You don't. I don't. I don't get why you believe in like agree with everyone that you're friends with. You just don't have to. Like, I... if you tried to, it's exhausting. You wind up with a fucking fart huffing echo chamber. Nobody learns anything. You never get any. Of, like alternative viewpoints or any challenging to your own like it literally goes nowhere there's you no learn absolutely nothing yeah. yeah you know what it's just like a homogenous you know mass of everybody it's being stagnant like, oh, yes. it just becomes stagnant you know what i've noticed about the universe mm. everything what? goes in a circle you know that's i true. was gonna say that it sucks and doesn't care oh no <laughs> that's like, that the entire thing is just one big circle trick <laughs> Guys, don't get me remember, wrong. I enjoy a good remember, circle uh, trick with the lads sometimes, where we're like, "Oh lads. yeah, we're definitely so right about everything." But you know, it gets yeah. to a point where it's like, "Okay, but listening to even even if the person irritates you or offends you, like listening just to what they have to say, you don't have to believe them or subscribe to their no. ideology. No, nope. but just giving them you people know, say perpetual motion to. What? People say perpetual motion machines don't exist, but they've never seen, like, uh, liberal Twitter. Uh, it's I just an echo chamber. Keep on, on gaining actually, energy. Actually, um... If we could, if we could uh, figure Liam, out how could to you, rig up uh, some magnets... You guys remember that, uh, the, the, bike, the bike comic that Shen made? Uh-huh, of course. Uh, yeah. Lamb, could you queue up that video that I, that I made for the TL a few days, uh, oh, a week no. ago? A week? Oh, I don't know which one that no, is. I just, I just sent it to you. I just sent it to you. You, you just sent it to me. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so it is, it is, a, it is uh, someone asked me to dub this, and I was like, you know, I don't want to go after Shen, but this would be really funny if I could pull this off. Real and quick, it took who me is like, Shen? Oh, Shen oh. is a guy who, he makes really good comics, really funny comics, really, in, well, though they tend to follow the same theme of life being bad. And attacking people, and it's like uh, Sarah gotten... Scribbles. If uh, Sarah Scribbles were funny, yeah, he's gotten much more confident in recent in 2020, which is interesting. But <laughs> uh, anyway, Shen uh... was the guy that made the comic about the bike being stolen. Mm -hmm. Yes. <gasps> and... Oh wait yeah. a minute! Now I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, he got he got <laughs> called bike cut for like recently. for like a year. I was pretty <laughs> bummed about it, but I think whoever stole it was probably more happy to get it than I am sad to lose it. The total happiness in the world increased. Recently. So whatever. I was pretty bummed out. Yeah, okay. About that guy. So, I Liam, think you got the video. That's was not a real happy right. to get it. No. I and I am think. sad I to lose it. That was a picture. The total happening. No, it's in the an world MP4. Increased. I sent it to you. So, oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, you who uses okay. MP4s anymore? You know what? Me? How about I? Yeah, who you? are you, my grandmother? It's all about VP9 these days. VP9. VP9. Okay. Shut up. Shut up and listen. 
It's still not <laughs> going. <laughs> you absolute. I swear. I'm going to put that you in a ground. Was... I think I get what he was going for with that bike comic, but it Wait, did you guys even hear it or did we talk over it? There, I don't think I didn't hear anything from it. Nothing. I, yeah, I didn't hear still, anything at all. It's so. just, it's registering as an image, so we'll see if it does yeah. it again. My bike got stolen. Did not do weird. anything the first time. I was pretty bummed out about it. Should, you should be able. But I think whoever it stole it is probably an image. more you happy to get it. And I am sad to yeah, lose it. Not I did media. The total story. happiness in the world increased. So whatever. Are you are you doing it in OBS? Yeah, OBS. You may have to specifically go VLC video source if you've got that. All right. We'll try that one then. God but bless I, you. This this took me like this took me like six or seven tries to get the ideal voice. I had to go higher and higher every t and then I went too high and I was like, wait, this is a child. So I took it down and made it more nasally. And I was like, this is the perfect bike cuck voice. And like I literally said those words like this is the perfect bike Oh, I heard cuck it on the stream. Oh excellent. Okay, good. So we did do it. Good. And we did well, we it here it. too. Okay. We, we were talking over it the whole time. Oh, that sucks. Well I guess we I'll do it we one more hear time. It here, but it was <laughs> right, Why not? Turn this on. You know, it's okay. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, but anyway, all I'm saying is that Shen really, he really stepped up from that. Like, he got bullied really badly, and I, he didn't deserve that, but it was just, it was too funny because people made video like, oh, my wife cheated on me the other day. And. Oh, uh, yes, someone uh, else will enjoy her more than I did. Yes. <laughs> like yeah. the total happiness of the, the, the world increase. So and I'm like, oh wow, that that is something. Like, oh, I've wanted to say so much about that, but I was like, you know what? So people have already said so much about it. Like, there's no reason to harp on the guy. And but he really did come back. He came back more confident. He came back stronger, much like Uzaki Chan will after all these haters are done. Oh, you can Amen. never keep the Uzaki yeah, you see? down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, hey, so, I, hey, everything you say, my philosophy. Hey, as long what's as big what's titties what's exist, there will be big titty holders. <laughs> that's a very that's Set facts, them my guy. in my hands. <laughs> Your titties look heavy, ma'am. Would you like me to hold them? Look, you literally <laughs> just call them cup holders. Oh, oh my gosh, the man's wait, a genius. Yeah, wait, I haven't taken my supplements today. That's unrelated. Is it? Mm. That's a smart. That's smart. I like that. You're my friend oh, now. You're still juicing, power. <laughs> I, I, I kind of am. Kinda. He's being Yo, a lot Cole's more about responsible about it. 9, I already 000. attacked him this morning. Yes, yeah, so I'm not I taking any more. You shouldn't, and you wouldn't. I'm not taking hey, any bro. more creatine. I'm not taking any more whey. I'm sticking to zinc, boron, lecithin, 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 vitamin D, baby. Vitamin D. Wait, yeah. Zinc and L arginine. So, are you trying to build muscles, or are you trying to jizz big loads? Both. <laughs> hey, <laughs> okay. Poe, are you about to be giga nigga nine thousand? That is the goal, my friend. That is the goal. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, more power you too, are you playing? Thank you. Although I really, I keep forgetting leg day, which is because I don't want to have like a giant body. You and no never leg. skip leg day. You know what? Uh, my legs will never. My legs will thank me. Uh, I don't I'm think trying so. to look like my profile picture right time. now, so I've been just oh, working man, out a I'm lot. Good. Also, look, like mm. I, I, I'm, I'm the reason like I stopped using the whey and the creatine is that I realized it would just make me retain water. And I'm trying to lose as much weight as possible before I go for mass again. But that is unrelated to Uzaki. So, mm -hmm. I, hang on. You know what, Carl? No I'm skipping leg day. I'm not skipping leg day. I'm just taking a break from leg day. That's still skipping. Hey, hang on. I've got a, hey, I've got a Paul, he's for bike this. Kicks. Skip leg day. How will you get that power to hold up the titty? <laughs> I, I don't think there will be titty so massive I'll need to lift with my back. A man can dream. I mean, lift with my legs. Not my back. Yeah, you should not lift your back. Yeah. Anyway, so you do want to uh, share with the stream, or? Uh, I hope. Uh, one thing I want to share with the stream is you matter. I hope you have a good day. I hope you all have a good day. Oh, yes. In fact, um, that's very helpful. Thank you, thank you guys for being with us. Uh, thank our sponsor, Artisan Build, Artesian Build. So if you ever want to get yourself a, a new PC with my discount code. Do do that. Up to also, uh, do that. you mentioned mentioned up what? to a hundred dollars off. Yeah. Also, uh, follow a friend of mine on Twitter. Follow a friend of mine on Twitter. His link is in the description. Follow all of us if you don't mm -hmm. already, which you probably mine's do, pretty tight. Levi would just uh, 
one one eye on Putty. So yeah, and rubber fist fight. Yeah, make sure you follow my, my man Rubber Fist Fight because he's got some good content. Yeah, I yeah, we're all I weirdos in a good in. way. Yeah. Thank you for the stream, and we are out. Yeah. Good night, okay. everyone. See ya.